My name is uh, Alan Wolke, uh, amateur radio call sign W2AEW. Got a YouTube channel. It's got uh, 180, some 180,000 subscribers, like 23 million views. And if you just do youtube.com slash W2AEW, my call sign, you'll find my channel. I'm kind of into all kinds of vintage electronics, mainly test and measurement equipment and things like that, but computers all uh, lean into that as well. I'm a little retro myself, being 60 years old, right. so, so certainly got into electronics, you know, you know, as, you know, as an early age, you know, I think it was mentioned on the panel yesterday, France had just took things apart as a kid, and I did the same thing, right. you know, ranging from the old tube TVs that we had in the, you know, in, at home. Uh, I worked in a TV repair shop when I was in high school, so I always had my hand in stuff, taking things apart, putting them back together, make sure I didn't have any spare parts left over at the end. Right. But, um, and certainly the vintage stuff is a lot easier to work on than, uh, than today's modern things. Yeah, so um, amateur radio kind of fill, you know, fills into that as well because you know, amateur radio has been around 100 years and a lot of the equipment that, that's out there is vintage as well. And uh, that's all fun to work on and, and modify and that type of thing. So. If you're interested in building things and understanding how things work, I mean, that's, amateur radio has got so many facets to it. And one aspect of it is homebrew, repair, uh, understanding how things work. Um, you know, the technology of things. So if you're interested in that kind of technology, especially when it comes to RF, um, you know, that's it's a great way to get in. And there's a real good tie-in now with computers as well. There's a lot of uh, what are called digital modes on amateur radio, where you actually use like a sound card in your PC to create sounds effectively that get transmitted over the air and get decoded at the other end, you know, with right. the computer. So there's a, there's a good tie-in with computers for that, as well as everything from satellite tracking to all kinds of things. So it's, they're really, uh, the technology's really gonna go hand in hand.